Alright, now we can install the carburetor. Now, before we install it, I just want to give you guys a quick overview of how everything works, where everything goes, and there's actually a lot to talk about concerning just the carburetor. So, for this video, I'm just going to be giving you guys, like I said, a real quick overview, but in probably when I'm finished building the entire go-kart, I'll probably do a separate video of every little thing detailed on the carburetor, what every little piece is, and also how to adjust it. But for now, let me go ahead and give you guys the basics. So you know how you have always heard that your engine runs on gasoline? Well, that's only partially true. Your engine actually runs on a perfect mixture of gasoline and air. Now, in order to get that ratio exactly how your engine wants it, you use something called the carburetor. That is the job of the carburetor to create that perfect ratio of gas to air mixture. Now let me go ahead and show you guys where everything is going to be hooked up and hopefully once I do that you guys will understand a little bit more on how the carburetor actually works. So of course before this thing can mix it perfectly it needs both of those things. So your air intake is going to come and it's going to go into a tube that's connected right here. That's where that big air hose is going to go. So Whenever we hook up our uh, air unit, remember, it goes right here. Now for the fuel line, this is going to be the fuel line, and the gas tank is actually going to be hooked up right here. It's going to go through this fuel filter, which cleans any crud out of the gas, and it's going to go into your carburetor as well. So now your carburetor has that perfect balance of air and fuel, and it can mix it. And I'm not going to show you guys how it mixes it perfectly, but just remember that this is what it does. It mixes the perfect ratio of air to gas using some of those pieces in there. You see that? I don't even know if you guys can see. And that's one of the uh, mechanisms. This one actually uh, controls the airflow, as you can see. But anyways, like I said, I'll talk about that later on. The only other things I want to talk about in this uh, video before I actually install this is the throttle, uh, the throttle valve right, right here. This is going to be hooked up to pretty much well, let me go ahead and give you guys a real quick explanation. This is going to be hooked up to a throttle cable, and that throttle cable is hooked up to the gas pedal. Now, the more you press on your gas pedal, the more this throttle valve is going to spin. Now, what this throttle valve does is it allows more fuel air mixture into your engine. So, how does it do that? It does that by controlling this door right here. So, all of your air and fuel mixture is going to be inside here, inside the chamber in the carburetor. Now the more you spin this, the more this door is going to open and allow more of that fuel air mixture into your engine. And of course the more fuel is going into your engine, the faster your go-kart is going to go. So just remember, real quick overview, the air comes in through here, here on the air intake. The fuel or gas from the gas tank comes in through here, right in there. Inside it controls it, makes the perfect ratio, and depending on how hard you're pressing down on the gas, on the gas pedal, the wider this door is going to open and the more gasoline is going to get into your engine. So now that we understand what the carburetor is and a real basic overview of how it works, in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to install this on your go-kart.